Help is coming. That's the word for Mississippi Governor Tate Reeves as recovery efforts continue after those deadly storms. Amongst the devastation, we're finding stories of hope and people coming together to rebuild. Jamie Doris speaks to one man who says he's taking it one day at a time. All right, y'all, it is now Sunday at almost 11 o'clock in the morning. The name of the game that we've been noticing around town over here in Rolling Fork is people are trying to salvage stuff. Right. And we're joined with Kevin, Kevin Corden or Corban. Corban, and he is yep. an insurance agent over here at Crop Insurance. Right. And you are salvaging stuff. So right. tell me, well, what are we doing exactly? Well, we just, we have our paper files that we're trying to uh, preserve and uh, it looks like it's gonna rain tomorrow. So I'm, I'm afraid the ceiling's gonna collapse. So we're trying to get everything out of here so it doesn't get wet. Okay, well let's get going, right? Okay. Okay, so right. I'll take this box, you take that box, you show me the way. All right. I guess you're going to be working out of your home for a little while. That's right. It, that, it looks like it's going to be a while because I think my building is going to have to be destroyed. So. Wow. So. What do you think about all the damage that's going on right now? Uh, it's uh, the photographs and video don't show the whole picture. It's just a lot worse than it than it looks. We've got a lot of help right now. What I'm afraid, and y'all know this from your experience with hurricanes, that after the, you know, the new wears off, it's gonna be a lot of people needing help, yeah. not getting help, so. Yeah, that's always the biggest fear with natural disasters. There's the flood right now, yep. and then, then it dries up. That's right. Wow. Yep. Okay. I'm seeing bears all over town. Okay, that's uh, uh, the teddy bear. Uh, you've, heard of, you've heard of the teddy bear. Sure. Uh, Theodore Roosevelt came here in 1902 and hunted bears, and that's when uh, they, the, his guide uh, tied up a bear for him to shoot. He refused to shoot the bear, and so that's where the teddy bear came from. But that was here in the county. And I actually had a carved bear sitting on that uh, concrete pad there, and there is the remnants of the bear right there. So one of the people out here helping is Marco. What's your last name? Von der Westeisen. Where are you from? From South Africa, Johannesburg. What, what are you doing in Rolling Fork? Uh, we form out in Leymont, Greenville. Yes, ma'am. We just form labor here. For, you farm? Yes, ma'am. We farm from February through to November, then we go back home, ma'am. Have you ever seen anything like this? No, ma'am. We don't get this in South Africa. Only earthquakes, but small ones. Yes, ma'am. So what are you doing today? Uh, we just help moving the insurance company stuff so it doesn't rain and the roof falls down. What do you think is going to be the long term like rebuilding for Rolling Fork? Uh, it's going to be really slow. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a little afraid about what might happen in the future because most of our main businesses are completely gone. And I'm sure there will be people that won't rebuild. Hopefully most people will, but we'll just have to wait and see. So right now, the future of Rolling Fork seems to be a little uncertain, but what we do know is that if they do build back, they will, that they will build back even stronger. Reporting from Rolling Fork, Mississippi, I'm Jamie Doris, WLOX News Now. Also, storms took a toll in Amory, Mississippi. Security cameras show storms causing damage to Amory High School. You can see there is a lot of damage in the hallway as the ceiling is falling. People were out cutting trees and cleaning up debris in the area. Many miss